The town of Concord has two commercial hubs. Concord Center with its stately Monument Square and classic village feel, and West Concord, a cluster of colorful independent businesses. The big news on this side of town, the recent closing of the West Concord 5 and 10. Longtime proprietor Maynard Forbes given a rousing send off. <laughs> To everyone's relief, the 5 and 10 space is staying in the family, the West Concord family, that is. Were we excited? That's kind of the understatement of the year. We've been looking for a larger space for about four years. Deborah's Natural Gourmet, a longtime West Concord fixture, will be expanding next door into the 5 and 10 building, more than doubling their space. To get this space, which was right next door to our own, was just wonderful. Yeah, we, we know how lucky we are. Food stores may be doing all right, but it's been a tough year for restaurants. Notable Concord kitchens have had to deal with a range of challenges, from limited seating to outright closure. But when one young couple in West Concord got laid off from their restaurant jobs, they figured it might be a good time to cook up a new hospitality model. If the diners couldn't come to them, they'd bring dinners to the diners. The cost, whatever the customer feels is fair. We were on board right away, and the only hard part was trying not to order five nights a week. Lizzie Jones is wild about WeCo Hospitality, the new private chef and meal delivery service created by Gavin Lambert and Rachel Emeralian. Gavin and Rachel don't want you to pay until after you're done. Gavin always says, eat first, enjoy it, and then let us know how we did. Customers get a note listing the cost of the ingredients in their meal. They then pay WeCo whatever they want. The cost of the Joneses' banging chicken dinner, $8.48. It's very much a collaborative effort towards a common goal, and that goal is to you know, share what we've got with everybody who wants it. Gavin Lambert, who's worked in top kitchens in Boston and New York, does the cooking. His wife, Rachel, oversees operations and WECO's lively social media posts. At first when we started doing this, it was a way to you know, spread joy in really dark times because of the pandemic, keep busy, practice his craft, not go crazy during quarantine. And I said to Gavin, I was like, this is either one of the stupidest ideas I've had or the smartest. And it's still up for debate, we'll find out. All signs are pointing towards a runaway success. WECO, Rachel's nickname for... West Concord. ...has moved from the couple's apartment to a commercial kitchen in Acton. They make hundreds of daily deliveries, recently opening a branch in Somerville and another in Detroit, Michigan. It's like a gremlin that you put water on and then it turns into that thing and like starts multiplying or whatever. Or a chia pet. Yeah, a chia pet <laughs> or some like snowball effect. Yeah. You know, it just gets so big and then you're like, whoa. So far, the pay what you want model is paying off with the occasional hiccup. One time someone uh, paid $4,000. <laughs> by accident and we emailed them we we're like um hey so just want to check in about your payment like it's I mean, very it so generous like WECO's success is based largely on Gavin's skills as a chef but the secret ingredient might just be the sense of community Gavin and Rachel have created with their customers through social media they call it the WECO fam I've got a lot of our friends and some of our family now caught up in the WECO fam approach because they do treat you very much like family. Johanna Hunter and her husband order WECO two to three nights a week. When they got married, they actually gave pieces of cake to everybody that week as sort of a celebration of their happiness. Again, it's a cool way to try and say that they're thrilled to be having us as customers. You want to have a community that can take care of each other. And in these difficult times, there's such a disparity. Like some people are doing really well, some people are not doing really well. We don't want this business to be exclusive to a certain type. 
a person. Our approach has always been lead with love and light and we want these people to feel like they're our friends and have that community vibe, not just a transaction. And now it feels like we've made tons of new friends. The community is, it's amazing. WECO publishes its weekly menu on Thursdays and customers can pick the days they want delivery. The downside of success? WECO can sell out quickly. And in case you're wondering, yes, they refunded that mistaken $4,000 payment. Coming up, cruising in a camper van. 